Good morning, everybody. We're going to get started here. So this is a brief demonstration of the Poly Early Learning uh, Braille device. So my name is Greg Stilson with the American Printing House for the Blind. And I want to say thank you for taking a little bit of your day to uh, come check out this really cool technology. So uh, for those of you who don't know, APH is uh, the largest nonprofit providing uh, educational materials for people who are blind or visually impaired in the K-12 system. Um, and one of our big initiatives is really expanding the ability for blind students to learn Braille as early as possible. And for those of you who teach Braille, uh, there's not a lot of gamified tools to teach Braille that really get the student engaged. And as a blind, former blind student myself, um, you know, I, I, I look at all the technology out today, and I think one of the things that we really focus on is trying to teach kids when they don't actually know they're learning things. <laughs> and so uh, what we've done is we partnered with a company called Thinkerbell Labs out of India, and they had developed a early prototype of a product that they call Annie, and we worked with them to develop our version here for the US called Poly. And what Poly is, is a gamified instructional tool that teaches students the Braille code, um, but is also a super engaging platform for them to learn via uh, playing games and interacting with activities and things like that. So I'm gonna hold up the device. So, and when, when we're finished here, I encourage all of you to go stop by the APH booth so you can actually get your hands on this. But what Poly is, is a very robust, uh, I mean, kids are, <laughs> kids, are, kids are rough with products, so we wanted to make sure that this is a robust device. Um, and it really has four components to it. So in the top left corner is the jumble braille cells. And these are cells that you can push the dots down or they pop up. So we've created some really interactive games that allow you to teach the braille cell, teach the braille characters. On the right side on the top is six standard braille cells. In the middle, you have your standard Perkins keyboard. And below it, you have an actual electronic slate and stylus that can teach a student how to actually uh, utilize a slate and stylus. So you have the, down below, you have the back space bar and right uh, forward buttons. And then on the side, you have a standard volume wheel, a headphone jack, there's an on and off switch, uh, and a repeat button as well. This does have two USB ports and a ethernet jack along with Wi-Fi as well. One of the really compelling features of this is that it also comes with a teacher dashboard that allows you as the teacher to see the student's progress as they're going forward. It also allows you to assign activities or lessons that the student needs to complete before they're allowed to go play games. So. Um, you can actually, via the Wi-Fi connection, um, so the, running the, it's called Helios, the teacher dashboard, you can assign certain activities that the student has to complete that day. And when they turn their device on, it only shows them the activities that you've assigned. They have to complete those activities first, and then it'll unlock whatever games you're allowing them to, to play that day. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of walk through the main menu and show you sort of the simplicity of the device. Um, it's designed, as, I, as we said, for very early learners, so um, the speech is very simple to understand. It was recorded at the American Printing House for the Blind with live narrators, so we're not using text-to-speech to do this. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of a fun, interactive way to, to, to learn. So what I'm going to do, hopefully the audio picks it up, I'm going to hit the space bar. Whack -a -key. So what that said, it says whack a key, so it's going to teach the student how to, what the different keys do. There's Wacka Braille. So I'm going to hit enter on Wacka. It's as loud as it goes. I'm getting it. There you go. So if I hit space bar again. Wacka key. English Braille grade one. So that's the grade one or the uncontracted uh, start of lessons. English Braille grade two. 
Teacher's chosen words. So teacher's chosen words is if you are assigning, <clears throat> excuse me, assigning specific words or contractions that the student is working on, they will have to go through the specific contractions or words that you've assigned to them. They, they're, they're not going to go beyond that at that stage. Games. And then, of course, we have our games. Settings. And then you have your settings. So that's where you configure your Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff as well. So I'm going to quickly go into the Wacka Braille. English. English. Wacka Braille. And hit space bar. So that's the jumbo Braille cell you hear. Let's play Wacka Braille. In this game, I will tell you which Braille dots to press, and you will have to press that dot down on the large Braille display. For example, if I say dot two, you have to press dot two down on the large Braille display. For every dot you press correctly, you get a point. You have 30 seconds to whack as many dots correctly as possible. So, so we'll the see how quicker bad I am you at are, this. the higher you score. Press spacebar to start the game. Ready, steady, go! Dot two. Dot three. So all I'm doing is dot pressing the large braille five. display dot down, and it's popping right back up telling me dot that I did it correctly. One. Dot four. Dot six. Dot six. Dot oh. six. Oh dear. <laughs> dot one. And now it dot starts to vibrate, two. telling me that I'm running a little bit low on dot time. Five. Dot four. Dot three. Dot. Dot. Dot one. Dot two. Game over. You've scored. 13 points. It's a big day for me. Congratulations. This is your new high score. It's my new high score, guys. New high score. Jeez. That was fun, so right? So the whole point of this That's is so to right. keep the student engaged. They also get different stars depending on the games they complete, uh, different activities that they complete. And as they continue to go through, you'll see as the teacher, you'll see those stars or completions appear on the Helio system showing which, which games or activities that they've, they've completed that day. You as the teacher control all the content that you want to appear in front of them on that main menu. So you could choose to open up the entire system to them or as I, as I mentioned, you could assign specific activities or um, uh, assignments to them to go through. So for example, if you are working on letters, let's say A through J, you could only assign those letters for the student to run through those activities. Now what's really fun about those activities is that it, it doesn't just walk you through these are the dots to create the letters A through J, but it actually incorporates songs, stories, um, activities that all incorporate those specific letters. So um, the J one was uh, something related to jumping, jack in a box, that kind of stuff, right? So um, you know, incorporating games or stories that only have those specific letters that you're engaging with at that time. Um, this is something that the student can do with you as the TVI in the classroom. They can also do it independently uh, at home as well if that's, uh, if, they, if that's what you choose to do as well. So um, I think, you know, at this stage, that's a really rough overview of what Poly is. I do encourage all of you to stop by the American Printing House for the Blind booth, get your hands on the device, play a little bit of whack a braille, whack a key, that kind of stuff. And, uh, and check it out. It's, um, it, is, it is something that we've never seen before in the uh, early childhood Braille education world. So um, it's, it's a really engaging tool, and I do encourage you all to, to check it out. So thank you all so much for being here, and uh, stop by the American Printing House for the Blind booth. Thank you.